Hello, Cherie Hansen here. I cordially invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm posting this blog and or go to my written blog, which is at cheriehansen.com and now has garnered 72,000 subscribers. Uh, the subject of my writings and musings is I kind of put under the title of stumbling toward mindfulness. It's not pretty. <laughs> kind of like a toddler. It's like, don't hit your head on that table again. <laughs> How many times it was, is it going to take you? I ask these questions. This one's called Other People's Victories. When we compare ourselves to others, we all lose. I am not as tall as she or he. They are not as short as I am. My skin is not as light, not as dark, not as tight, not as loose, not as radiant. We both come out behind. <laughs> no two people or things can ever reasonably be compared to one another. One stick is straighter and another branches. So which stick is the freak? Which broken off branch is not reaching to its full potential as a manifestation of limb fractured upon the ground? A comparison always serves to designate the failure, the lesser than, the go home now, you need to give up. <laughs> you are fired mentality. The mind that seeks to compensate is the mind already set up to find fault. Is one of my ears bigger or smaller or higher on my head or lower than the other? Which is the correct ear? Which ear is more perfectly an ear? The ultimate ridiculous waste of intellectual calories is puzzling. What is it we hope to achieve by comparing ourselves to others? What is the ultimate goal? Should we be thrown back into the waters before birth like some under limit fish <laughs> to measure ourselves in terms of others <clears throat> is only to serve the puppet masters. The corporate holders of the psyche strings want us to feel that we are malformed, not special, lacking in some undiscovered attribute. It is when we are in that mindset that we go out and buy a new oven or refrigerator in an attempt to catch up with others. But what I know for sure is that when we drop the comparison and we drop all the yardsticks, we get a clearer view of the absolutely stunning resilience that each of us is capable of. My neighbor might have a breakthrough in how to use the remote. <laughs> Suddenly it clicked how to use the new device. She pushed through her frustration with technology and has begun to challenge her limits. It is as meaningful as if she had climbed a rock wall. My friend might have set up a payment plan to pay off $25 a month on a debt, and it took every ounce of determination to get out of the mindset of rewarding pain by running up more debt. He is literally creating a new future for himself. It is as transformative as if he had purchased a designer suit. Can you recognize me now? Some person sitting alone in front of a computer may have been in a frustrating state so severe that the person wanted to scream and run away into the hills if there were any hills they could see, but the person stayed in front of the blue screen light and learned how to use the new software. It was as frightening and courageous as if the person had gone skydiving. For them, we can never know how much of a victory others are achieving in their daily lives. We can only use 
the status ruler, which tells us nothing. It tells us nothing about our own lives or about others. It tells us nothing about our victories. As I sat at an intersection the other day, I suddenly got the blinding clarity of understanding as car after car turned left into the lane next to me by traveling through an intersection. I thought of how each one of these drivers had learned a skill and decided each one to follow the rules of the society. Each was determined to keep his or her focus inside his or her own car and make that turn without endangering anyone else. And I was flooded with love for the decisions each had made to make that turn. No one was racing to see who was first, who was the most deserving to make that corner first, to get the most surface on the road. It was an agreement to just keep the attention inside his or her own particularly ve particular vehicle. And it was beautiful. What if we could do that with our thoughts? <laughs> Stay inside your own life. Stay inside your own lane and be focused on what major tiny achievements you are able to learn. Congratulate yourself and acknowledge how you have pushed through a block or conquered a challenge. It makes us all so much more grounded and at peace. It makes us all so much more likely to be at home in our own lives. It makes the world safer for all of us. Thank you.